Hi guys, welcome back to stream number two, episode three of my Portal Revolution playthrough. Last time out, we had just entered into the teleportation device and things went wrong, unsurprisingly, as they always do in Aperture. And um, looks like our device is broke. So, first things first, I guess we're on the lookout for a new portal device. As long as things don't fall apart around us. Yep. Rip my gun. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, I did that. Thank you for not loitering for longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> Do you know what, Perfirius? Until you just mentioned it, I'd even forgotten, so don't feel bad. Does that mean I'm banned from my own screen? Should I get up and walk away right now? Uh, also, a little bit. So I'm just doing weird stuff. It's better. I think that's good. Yep. All right. Happy days. How's Friday treating everybody or Saturday if you're on that side of the world? We got the gel pipe. There. Make sure we're not missing anything back here. I guess we are not. I was thinking about I could get over there, but that's an actual fence. It's not a, um, a walkway like I originally thought it was. It's fine. Wee, wee. Oh, sorry. I don't think we've missed anything there. I wonder. Let me really reload that. I mean, I could have just jumped in the water and reloaded it that way, I guess. That works too. There we go. I had to check it. Only five out of ten of seers. Really? Must try harder. Ah, you see, that's a bit better score. Seven out of ten. And mental note made. Seers, ju uh, seers jumping criteria is a little bit harsh. My standards. I, on the other hand, do not. As long as it entertains me, that is all I care about. Enter flooding, seek air pockets. Alright, so that's just like a nice little um, area to explore. So it seems. Onwards we go. Ocean. Totally not spooky at all.
feel a bit a little bit lonely at the minute. It's like our little our little core body is nowhere to be seen. Starting to sound like Clarkson. <laughs> oh dear. I really need to watch his um, farm program. I hear good things about that. Alright, there's a ladder there that we can go up. It just yet. guess we're gonna um, yeah so there's portal surfaces here so we need to find a portal gun first before we can go any further down here so yeah okay let's go this way although i get the hunch yeah we need the portal device here so we'll go up the ladder Yeah, but it's it's still no comparison to when I was actually playing Hugo's map Furious and um Ooh. Good. Whoa. Okay, I guess there's like a weird thing to speed up climbing. Um yeah, and I actually fell in water. And um he gave me a GTA wasted kind of thing. Uh okay, so we're down here now, so maybe we don't have to use the portals, but A no clip during a dive. <laughs> Indeed. Can you believe that that like, Hugo clip was like eight years ago? That's crazy. How time flies. I only know that because I recently watched my um, my 2016 compilation video that I put together at the end of 2016, and I remember it was it featured in that. But yeah, eight years ago. That's crazy. How time flies. I haven't aged a bit. That's depressing. Like, I was... I mean, that was like when I was 31. Me and Ferris have both got big milestone birthdays next, next year. Getting old. Although never as old as some, eh, Deathwish? Alright, so... Say... A, a lot of exploring here. Some nice eye candy areas, but not a lot else to do other than that at the moment. And that portal gun. You mean you don't want to hear it? Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Okay. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> The fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world. Just like we have for over 30 years. Wrong draft? This one? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my part? Interesting. A nice looking area down here now that the lights are turned on. Even more eye candy to look at. Um, wait, is that where I walked through before? Possibly. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think like how long I've been streaming. Too long sometimes I think, but as long as I've still got 
the enjoyment, then that's all that matters, right? Fabulous 50s. After purchasing a salt mine in Upper Michigan from his prof from his profits made in the military grade shower curtain business sign, Maverick Cave Johnson founds Aperture Science Innovators. And my mannequins, they creep me out. Oh, we got another nice portal device. Nice red one this time. And we got blue and red portals, so... In response to the 68th Senate hearing on missing astronauts after trying to expand this product listing to include part participants outside the country's elite class of human resources. Highly popular $60 science contribution reward enabled hundreds of low-income families to secure a regular source of revenue. And then, following the passing of CEO Cave Johnson, Aperture Science reinvents itself under a new leadership, Aperture Laboratories. The years of innovation, the portal device makes a major milestone in personal teleportation technology. Portal conductor paint made from a new pending moon rock based composite material is available in our store. Yeah, it's a nice looking gun. It's very nice, very nice. Funny you should say that about Arby Stream when I'm um, 60. Sears. Um, I've been getting in, back into sim racing after a long time away from it, and I've been reading some posts and some forums, and like, it's quite mad that some of the people in these forums are like 68. They were, they were like 68 and 70, and they were just like getting into sim racing at that age. It's mad. You're never too old to game. Never. Never ever. Um. Okay. So where do we go? Where do we go now? In the words of Guns N' Roses. Um. I don't think we can get back up because that whole area is now shut off, isn't it? So... Am I missing? I've got a portal system in here. We have indeed. There we go. All right, Papyrus, thanks for hanging, buddy. You have a good uh, rest of the day yourself. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay. I feel like we got to do, it's almost similar to the main campaign I'm getting vibes of here. Like we got to potentially fling out somewhere. I am not sure where. nowhere. Now we have to go somewhere. Somewhere only we know. Can I get like on top of the elevator? It is reminiscent of the elevator shaft in the main game, so... No. Anyway, like we go that way either. Maybe we just like do that actually. Do we bling up again? Maybe to somewhere? Maybe we just fling up to there actually, yeah. But it's higher than the seven blocks of height that uh, is terminal velocity and portal. I guess I forgot that. Ah. I think we need to get on the catwalk. 
do a little turn on the catwalk. Uh, confused for four colors here. Yeah, big time confused. Oh, is there something there? Hold on. I'll be right, Strike. You can't silence Knock. I am unsilenceable. Unsilenceable? Yeah. What I said. There was a ladder. We found a ladder. Let's go. Okay, we are making our way back. Oh, is that the... Uh... Oh, okay, so maybe now we do red out of the blue. That one. Bring across to there. All right, cool. Considering all that kind of looked like in the initial instance when we looked at it, it was kind of not going to be needed. A weird panel. Um, yeah, it was pretty neat. Pretty neat. Oh, and hey, we're doing a big loop. Oh. I guess I've fallen down from there. I was just about to say, I have literally done a big loop. I was mad. Thought I'd overcomplicated something then for a minute. Uh, Alright, through here. Weird position for a box, but... Okay. Through we go. I know that always that there's never going to be anything on those doors, but I feel compelled to check, it every, check those doors every time I go past them. I don't think I've ever played a portal map or mod where you actually uh, open one of those doors. So, but you never know. People are sneaky. People are be sneaky. All right. Puzzles, chambers, maybe? has got eyes on me. Oh, we're rolling? Okay. All right. We're trying something different with this test. If you've worked in device development, then you'll know what this is already. But if you don't, that will actually give us better data. So just have fun with it. It shouldn't be able to hurt you. Okay, so looking at this, I'm guessing we find a cube and we send it through the pneumatic diversity event. Which is pretty interesting. Not something you tend to see outside of um, B-Mod maps. Pretty relatively underused element, I would say. But it's pretty cool. Nice to see um, some different elements for a change. Yeah, I'm right here, Mr. Torrey. Right here. Okay, I just want to check that I haven't missed anything the other side, but I don't know if I can actually get back up there. I don't believe I can. 
Hey. To remind everybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events, all pneumatic diversity events in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. Okay. So, I guess the question is... Yeah, me too. I see it's me too. I want to check that we are bigger than the weight limit here. I think we're going to be indicating we need to go there. Yeah, later turrets. Yeah, it just seems like an exercise in teaching you, making sure that you understand that you can take these turrets and things through different areas. I mean, it's a bit similar to the turrets, um, the main turret test, I guess, from the original game. Yeah, we just drop through here, I guess. Well done. As a heads up, the following test chambers may oh, not speakers. include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck. Um, I'm this door. Then kind of like sealed up in a very interesting way. Okay. I'm not sure duct tape, as, as strong as duct tape can be, I'm not sure it would hold one of those like doors shut. be perfectly honest. I'm liking the amount of detail that um, has been, been put into these environments. Maybe it stops the spinny lock. Okay, yeah. I guess there's not a lot of force behind the spinny lock, so it'd be a reasonable explanation team spent, well thought. A few parts just falling. Yeah, the level of detail is really something, given like these areas are so large. There's like not an inch of detail that hasn't, uh, like an inch of space that doesn't seem to have been detailed, so yeah. I don't want to send my own cubes, that's what the robots are for. I am not a robot. Boopy music. Hey, I want to go back. Don't lock me in. Uh, okay. Invisible 
wall slash object. Personality sphere maintenance labs. Okay. That's how we get through. That was the previous game I played as a robot. Touche. Touche. I don't believe that core is working. Disc. Are we done? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? The who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. What a cool looking core. Say, measuring rail access. No, I by the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. Oh, it worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. Uh, what was the saying before? I was really interrupted. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, I'm so sorry. Yikes. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. You don't want to talk to me? You don't want to finish that sentence? No? Okay. It's fine. Yeah, okay. I, Wait, I think what I was going to say is I'd better have to take it to this place where I couldn't, window, um, please. where I couldn't, um, All right. get through, Trying I guess. To panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. There we go. Got it. Woo! None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's makes find two of the us. management rail. Then I can access the whole network. It looks like the way up to the uh, new aperture, but still got quite old vibes to it. Elevator, sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Actually, yeah. you don't want to know. You had to say something, didn't you? Why can't you just keep quiet? You don't have to say things like that. Can I ask you something real quick? 
Oh. What portal device model is that? No idea. Look like any of the ones I've seen before. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail. We found one. Whoa, feels weird. This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. Oh, one eight six. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. I see puzzles. Do we break into the puzzle? I mean, we could do using portals, or is there actually an actual way in? I wonder. If you would break something if you went into the puzzle at this point. Oh, you can't. That's fine. That's fine. All the portal surfaces are off ground level, so. We can't break it. It's fine. All right. On to some puzzles. Interesting kind of like looking puzzles, like a hash between... It's almost like the... It's almost like a transitional, transitional period from like old Aperture to new in here. Interesting so, chambers. Again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning. And it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are. Is that another cube or...? Yeah, okay, I guess it is. And I should get sucked through there. Up to this side. Boom, Bob's your uncle. to hold back the panic now I read the records of what happened while I was out everyone is dead all of them and it's my fault I'm not dead see I worked on her I created the genetic life form and disc operating system just like cave wanted well my human self did I have no memory of this but the records are clear Carolyn never consented to be scanned in but somehow they must have found a way around that I need to process this for a bit and figure out what to do now. See you in a bit. Okay, is there a pulse of I could use to get into there? There it is. Oh, it's just the observation room for the. Uh, Wait for chair. Somebody got a little bit bored while they was waiting for test chamber test subjects to come along and they decided to make a model of something. Pretty neat. I like the like design of these BTS areas as well really nice to kind of like travel along and through the chambers that you've already solved nice makes it so that you can actually kind of like fit more into the level if you kind of like reuse areas like that i guess makes sense hope so Alrighty. moving on Oh, 
That was an attempt at a jump, you would never know, because I never even left the ground. Um, lighting on the the pole surfaces especially considering it's so dark down here really obvious as to like where you're meant to shoot your portals and bits and pieces so yeah that's really good hello I'm back I know it's not been long just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Let's just try to get out of here. This isn't a good place to be around anymore. Alrighty. Inputs and outputs. Okay, so we're not going to go that way. I do wonder if they are the... Maybe I'll test. I wonder if they were the... Um, laser fields that you can go in, the, the safe ones. There. I was a little bit worried that I didn't, that seemed a bit forced, but dark again. Let me light this up for you. That's really cool. It seems like another extension of the um, the switch mechanics. So that's really cool. I like that. It wasn't just a one-time use mechanic. Guessing we're gonna have to reactivate it. What was I swear these earthquakes aren't normal here. What is that? Alright. Be there in a moment. Not sure if I was meant to um turn the power on again just like that, but Thanks. I haven't been here in a while. Wow, this hasn't changed a bit. There's numbers on the walls. But I can't see what they are. Ah, yes. The boring presentation room. For some reason, the presentation rooms were assigned special roles. This is the boring one, where only really uninteresting topics get presented. I worked next to the presentation room of danger. Well, that's its nickname. What they pitch there is shocking at first, but it didn't take me long to get numb to it. Presentation room of danger. Mannequins? Hmm. Interesting. You reckon I could find a humanoid android body somewhere around here? Nope, 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 nope. Forgot nope. what it feels like to have hands. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um, did I say nope? <laughs> Not sure I have a chance, uh, a choice, sorry. No hands, only handles. It's just keep moving on. I don't know what, uh, whether or not they do anything. 
I've seen enough mannequins in uh, Portal 2 to last me a lifetime. Can I get some light, please? Thank what? you. Finally! Can't stop thinking about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. I can confirm they did. One poster. What, sentry turrets? What about sentry turrets, Team Spen? say watch out but I, I haven't moved so what was did you see that better move upwards before that happens again certainly giving off a spooky dynamic and aesthetic here Nice music as well. Soundtrack's been pretty good on this one. I do say. Alright, let's carry on. This might be an old, dangerous teleportation experiment. Here we've got ourselves the <clears throat> Aperture Science Non-Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Our team affectionately dubbed it the Spire. Adds a bit of pizzazz to it, right? It was developed as a successor to the Borealis experiments from the 70s, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes, unless digital cameras count. Alright, looks like we are making our way up here. Slowly, slowly. Go pump. Ah. Not so slowly after all. I know, right? She talks about teleportation and then we end up doing bounce job. Um go from here oh okay do a big tyrannimo Score's got a little bit higher. Seven out of ten this time. That's something. The only thing there I thought is could I have 
jumped to jump off there, maybe. I guess something I yeah. That was weird. Not sure why that happened. Anywho. Moving swiftly on. Blue again. Whoa! That was close. Yeah, it wasn't. We better get going. Let's find a way up to the surface. That's where we'll find the control room. Control room, where are you? Case of rogue mannequins? What? Escape mannequin in a... <laughs> Speak deactivation phrases. Escape mannequin in office mazes and find shelter. Uh, okay. Our oldest test chef Echo Rally to open for public testing. The must see, must hear, must musty smelling event of the nineteen eighties. Okay. Oh, try Jesian gel. Interesting. Jesian gel in here. All right, so that's got me on edge now. Talking about mannequins and how to avoid them. Do this not like. sounds stupid, so just bear with me. Garbage disposal tubes generate much more force than the ones in test chambers. Should be able to carry you. If you jump into this tube, I will route you through to the upper layers of the facility. You sure about that? Maybe hold your breath. <laughs> Hold my breath. Ah, okay. This is as far as I can get you. Damn it, that's barely halfway. Well, looks like we have to go the long way. Sorry. I'm going to research this spire thing while you solve the chambers. Antennas. Cool gun. Retractable. Carbon fiber. Laser eye. All right. What are we doing here? Okay. I see what we got to do. Step one, don't lose the cube. Step two, hydrate for seers. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind. I'm not even on 7 p.m. on my bottle today. Now 10 p.m. Terrible. All right, so yeah, pull that off there and just like that. Not push it, not pull it. Onwards we go. I found some internal documents for the spire, which is twenty megabytes large. How did they figure out how to fit all that <laughs> on a single drive? 
Yeah, I think you've um, I think you've been out of the loop for quite some time there, dear. Funnily enough, though, I actually remember the first USB flash drive I ever bought, and it was 128 megabytes, and you needed to install a CD on the PC on the to get it to work. One thing that puzzles me, how Crazy. did it get activated? It's been dormant for decades, and suddenly it just kicks itself into action? Whoever it was must have really upset it. The old flow, four of eight. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, so that just keeps on going now. That's interesting. Okay. Wasn't aware that kept kind of like looping around, so next test. Oh, it's gone. I was gonna sneeze. See, we're a bit flooded. There's a door underwater there. A bit of a scripted push there, I feel. Hey, okay, where do I need this? Here? I kind of felt that that was a bit of overkill on the amount of gel I had, but given that it wasn't that big a distance to cover, but you can never be too sure. jumping this one across. That's fine. There it was again. Did you see? The spire is stealing resources from down here as part of its power up sequence. I don't think it presents an immediate threat to us, but something just feels off. Aperture likes to poke around at anything, no matter how dangerous it is. The fact they discontinued this experiment doesn't really fill me with emotions I would categorize as positive. Like those um, that take on like the elevator videos, given that they're not turbine elevators, like using projectors is pretty cool. Proves. Did you know that Aperture simulates, simulates breathing and blinking in its sentient robots? I still have a sort of subconscious reflex to breathe and blink my eye, even though that's not technically necessary. Turns out the human mind doesn't cope well when those functions are removed. Be glad you didn't volunteer for our early mind mapping tests. Those were not good times to be a test subject. Quite like all the different use here with the gel. Recap. And Gladys the diversity killed all events. humans and then got killed herself by a test subject. And what happened since? Why is there nobody here? Did nobody come to investigate this place? 
Forget about the government. Why does Black Mesa have no interest in what happened here? Interesting. Okay, where am I heading to here? Up there. How far does this go? Okay. That's fine. I'm thinking speed gel into here. So there. I'm thinking speed gel into the wall, come out of there. Potentially with enough speed to hit there where we might have bounced John and then bounce back on there and there. Just a hunch. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, I mean, that would kind of fit through-ish. Uh, let's do the speed gel. I don't know if I need it there or not. I guess what I could do, though, is we could do the old, do the old tricks, so... Bit of white gel. Swap that to that to slow it down. Potentially. Actually, we would want to do that a bit further away, wouldn't we? I don't think that's going to slow it down enough. Yeah, I'm going to need to do that further away, so... Let me get some over there, please. That's better. All right, so let's get rid of that first. And uh, then we'll do this. Wait for it to slow down a little bit. Hopefully it will slow down. I'm not even sure if I need this, but it would make sense. I need to bounce, do like a double bounce. We'll see. Oh, I completely did the wrong portal, didn't I? Yeah, knock, you're an idiot. We're going to slow anything down. Surely it's going to be. Let's give us a better indication of whether or not we're slowing it down, which I believe we are. Look. So. Okay, and then just to make sure we have enough, we will recoat all this area with orange. 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 My daughter would say. Uh, cool. I think that's probably going to be enough. My calculations are correct. Yep. Okay. Solve it the fun way. Wait, there's a fun way and a... What's the other way? I mean, I guess I could do something like... I guess I could do something like this, right? Maybe this is what it means by the boring way. And I, I don't know, these colors like really throwing me. I don't know why.
Keep on going. A little bit more. Keep going. This will be enough. That's the boring way. I'm sure there's probably like another way to do it, but yeah, that's the boring way. <laughs> that's what I was doing. Well I'm glad the done, way. Test subject. No. You off. have just completed I'm another test. Underway. Congratulations on contributing once again to the future Why of science. Feel welcome Turn to pause off. at Turn any off. moment. There's cake and beverages Turn in the break room. Eight. 